Hey everybody, this is Eric Worry and welcome to NetworkMarketingPro.com. I'm here with Matt Morris. How you doing, Matt? Awesome. And this guy is a passionate believer in personal development. He is a seven-figure a year earner in network marketing. He's a leader of a huge organization. How big is your group around the world now? It's uh, over over 100,000 active now. Over 100,000 active people, and that took how many years to build? Five years. In five years, over 100,000 active people, and it's a pretty good accomplishment, my friend. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Why don't you tell everybody uh, just your story? Where, you know, where'd you come from? You know, how did this happen? Um, and and how have you, you know, what, what's your career path? What, okay. What's happened? Sure. Well, I got, uh, let's see, got into network marketing. I was in college, broke college student, working as a banquet waiter at the uh, Hilton Hotel. And, uh, you know, serving the tables and all this. Well, one of the other waitresses who was kind of cute, she uh, asked me, you know, she was just you know, talking to me, making conversation. And then she uh, asked me if I ever thought about, you know, being in business for myself. And because I wanted to build rapport with her, I, I said, yeah, all the time, sure, absolutely. And she said, well, why don't you uh, write your number down and we'll talk business sometime. And I was super anxious to talk business with her. So I gave her my number and she, uh, she called me a couple days later and said, hey, why don't you, I'm having a you know, get together at the Hilton Hotel on you know, Thursday night, why don't you come meet me and we'll talk business. And right. so I was like, all right, come meet Mary Beth at a hotel. Sounds good. And uh, so anyway, <laughs> I, <laughs> I uh, showed up and it was a network marketing meeting. Everyone in suit and ties and, mm. you know, so saw the plan for the first time. And, you know, like a lot of people, I got super excited. I uh, came home that night and I thought, oh my gosh, I can't believe no one else does this. I literally thought they were the only company in the world that right. had this network marketing concept. So um, I thought, now I'm going to get rich. And so quickly found out I was the last to know, you know, and so uh, went to the meetings, went to the trainings, got introduced to personal development, read Thinking Grow Rich, and just thought, man, why is this content not, why don't we, why aren't we taught any of this in school? Right. And so, um, you know, after two years, I, um, you know, ended up with, uh, had sponsored uh, actually three people, mm -hmm. two of which I paid for to get in. Uh, one of which was my mother, and I never told her she was in. Right. <laughs> and then uh, the one guy that I did enroll was a friend of mine who was a waiter. He had been drinking before the presentation. He signed up, and then never, you know never saw him again. So you know, two years later, I had one person in my group that was me. Mm. So that was you know first two years in network marketing. But I you know really caught the dream. There was uh, one of the guys who you know making millions of dollars. He'd been in the company a long time, and he had just come home from Europe and he talked about how he was world schooling his children, how teaching his kids history, not just in the history books, but in the places in the world where the history actually happened. And so that was kind of my why, that was my dream. And I just got excited about that, even mm -hmm. though I was, you know, at the time at that event, 18, 19 years old, I thought that's, you know, that's what I want to be able to give for my, to my children. And so I knew that network marketing was solid, and I thought, well, maybe I'm just, you know, not in the right company. So I got involved in another company and worked really hard for six months and, you know, did everything you're not supposed to do and had so much success. I moved into this really amazing place called the Honda Civic. <laughs> so I uh, was homeless, lived out of my little beat-up Honda Civic. Um, I got a job selling above-ground swimming pools. and. Um, in southern Louisiana, and uh, mm. so anyway, didn't have enough money to eat. I got paid commissions once the pool got installed, which was six to eight weeks out, and so I had nothing, you know, enough wow. money to eat and pay for gas. I couldn't afford motels or anything like that, so I slept on my car, and if you've ever been homeless, you realize you develop a little bit of a bathing problem. <laughs> so I would learn to bathe in gas station bathrooms, um, you know, and I, everyone has this defining moment in their life that, you know, right. kind of takes a, a different turn. And so my defining moment at the time was one night I pulled into a little town and uh, pouring down rain and uh, pull into a church parking lot. I'd always park in church parking lots because I felt like criminals would feel guilty carjacking me in the church. So I, um, you know, park in there and I'm laying there and I'm, you know, laying back and rain's pouring down. Normally the rain helps me sleep, but that night I just, I can't sleep, I can't sleep. And so I'm thinking that if I go into my appointment tomorrow smelling like I do now, uh, there, there's no way they're going to buy a pool. I hadn't taken a bath in a couple days, so I'm like, all right, well, it's raining outside. So 
took off my clothes, grabbed my bar of soap, and you know, out in the middle of the church parking lot, and showered in the rain, and I uh, dried myself off, and I'm sitting there, and I, you know, I kept a journal. I still have the journal today, actually, mm. which is a fascinating, you know, for me to go back and read it. But you know, that night I really got committed, and I said, I don't care what I have to do, I don't care how hard I have to work. I'm going to figure out how to be a success. I am not, not going to get. I'm not going to be in this situation again because what I had done previously is, you know, I was doing network marketing and I went to the trainings and I read some books, but I was never all in. I I never really made that obsessive commitment that you know I've heard leaders talk about, and so that's what it took for me was mm. you know hitting rock bottom. You know, and it was Tony Robbins. I listened to a Tony Robbins cassette, and he said there's. You know, he told his story of going from living in a 400 square foot bachelor apartment to a year later making over a million dollars a year. And I said, okay, I want those kind of results. And so how did he do it? And that's what I'm looking for is the how-tos. And mm -hmm. he didn't give any how-tos, but he said there was two things. You know, he said, you've got to practice modeling. You know, modeling just, okay. if you want to have a lot of success, find someone who's had a lot of success, do what they did to have success and you can have success yourself. And then the other thing he talked about was a um, huge commitment to personal development. He said he read over 700 books and so that was super intimidating for me. I was the kid in high school who finished in half of the class that made the top half possible. Yes, so, me um, too. Yeah. So anyway, I, uh, I started reading books. Even when I was homeless, I couldn't afford a lot of books. I'd go to the bookstore and I'd read books there and you know, the bookstore would close. I'd you know, remember what page I was on, I'd come back the next day and finish the book. And so I started going through a new book every, you know, two days I'm reading another book. When you're homeless, you got a lot of time on your hands. So that kind of started my reinvention process. Um, and this is how old are you now? I'm 21. Okay. 21. He's reinventing himself at 21. <laughs> Most people are trying to find yeah, himself yeah, yeah. at 21, but you're, you're already reinventing. <laughs> I, so you started I, early. That's I, I think I was, uh, yeah, maybe, it funny, maybe inventing, not reinventing. Isn't it funny? Cause I got involved in the profession when I was 22, right? Mm -hmm. And you feel this huge sense of urgency like you're getting old. You have to hurry. <laughs> sure. You know what I mean? If you yeah. don't make something happen quick, you're, it's going to be over. Yeah. You know, that this incredible scarcity, this fear that yeah. at least I had, yep. I had uh, a big early time. on. Yeah. Yeah. And the fear kind of drove me. It was a fear of ever getting into that situation again. Mm. And, um, you know, I just, it was the combination, and this is what I always you know, train on, is success is really pretty simple. You know, there's, there's three factors. You got your financial vehicle, we've got the network marketing profession, greatest profession in the world, the greatest vehicle in the world. There's nothing that allows you to make the kind of money that we can make, have the kind of time freedom that we can have, and help the kind of people that we can. And then the only other two factors are your effort and your skill. Mm -hmm. And so I worked on the skill through reading the books and applying the knowledge, going to every seminar I could find, and which is you know why I'm such a big fan mm -hmm. of what you do, because you know my philosophy, what made things work for me was investing here. Yep. And I heard a, a quote that said, if you, you know, empty your wallet into your mind, your mind will fill up your wallet. And I can remember, you know, a time going to a Tony Robbins event, it was $10,000 for his, you know, right. uh, master university. Yep. I think at the time I didn't have $10,000, but I thought, wow, if I don't come up with the $10,000, I'm always, I, this is always going to be a problem for me. Right. So I had to source the ten thousand dollars, figure out how I could make it work, People and think, it made all the difference they, in the world. They think once they start making money, then they then, then you'll go. In then you'll go. Yeah, sure. Instead, but they don't realize. Right. You got to do it when you don't have it. Exactly. You got to buy the books when you don't have it. Mm -hmm. You got to listen to the programs yeah. when you don't have it. And at the beginning, yeah. I was like you. I mean, I was bootlegged copies <laughs> of cassette tapes, listening to over and yeah. over and over. You know, uh, anything I could do to yeah. try and find my way into a room where I could learn, yeah. you know, uh, the, it, it's so important to, to understand investing first, mm -hmm. return comes second, Right. but it's hard when you're struggling, yeah. you know, like, well, you, you should give a person a chance to get out of that, well, part <laughs> of that is the struggle, sure, yeah. if you, if hey, you, if you'll pay my way in, <laughs> yeah, if you didn't have the struggle, yeah. it's like they say with the butterfly, mm -hmm. if you, if you, you go in there struggling, you take a little razor blade to help them out, yeah. sure. then they're, they're going to fall out yeah. and die, they need yeah. the struggle.
And I think that's true. It was true for me. Yeah, and I had to learn to be grateful for the struggle. And it was really hard at the time. In fact, I don't remember having a lot of gratitude at the time when I was living out of my car. But now looking back, thank God that happened because I wouldn't be who I am or where I am if that had not happened. The adventure years. Sure. You know, when it's all a big adventure. I mean, I've I've driven to places to learn from a mentor, slept in my car, done all that stuff too. Mm -hmm. I remember those defining moments. Isn't it interesting that that moment when you were showering, you could either let that break you, Mm -hmm. um, standing out in the church parking lot, or you could let it push Mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Yeah, I think we all deal with that. And I think, you know, there's a lot of viewers that are either breaking or being pushed. You know what I mean? And I hope that you don't break, right? That's it. So talk to me about, you've got this group of over 100,000 active people, you've built you know, this incredible growth over the last five years, you now have a residual income, walkaway income of over a million dollars a year uh, in commissions, which is awesome and exciting. And the cool thing is it's becoming more and more common in our profession. It used to be 10,000 a month was the holy grail, sure. yeah. and now it's... You know, that's everywhere. <laughs> you need to be at 100000 That's 000. everywhere. Sure. 100000 a month is becoming much more common. Nice. What would you attribute your... There's two or three things mm-hmm. that you could point to that those things really made a difference mm-hmm. in your success. What would those be? Sure. Well, within, you know, I mean, it goes back to what I said earlier, the, the effort and the skill. And, um, you know, for me it was putting in enough effort fast enough. I always talk about the law of compressed activity Mm -hmm. that says the effort that you put in in a compressed amount of time is going to pay you way more money than the same amount of effort put in over an extended period of time. And so um, any success I've ever had in network marketing with the company I'm with now, with my last company and you know the company before that, every, every major success I've had in network marketing has come from a massive amount of compressed activity. How long? About, How long was that compressed? About time? a ninety-day time frame. Isn't that yeah. funny? We talk about the ninety-day game plan all the time. Sure. Massive energy in ninety days. Yeah. I learned that. Gosh, it's uh, back to nineteen ninety-two when yeah. I find it. When I learned it, mm-hmm. four years into my five years into my network marketing career, um, I did my first one. Yep. Yeah. And it created massive income, and then I started paying attention to the other big earners, and I realized <laughs> that all of them. Right. It all you could, and, uh, and about how many did you recruit over the course well, of those 90 days in personally? My first, the first success I had in network marketing, my first month, I enrolled 30 people. 30 people in one month, and I was so busy from those 30, I didn't enroll any anyone else for several months after that. Yeah. I mean, I was just busy, you know, taprooting and driving momentum. Yep. But, um, you know, I had 90 days all out. I carried that one till about six months. and went from, at the time, was living at home with my mom, working as a waiter at a saltgrass steakhouse, um, you know, $30,000 in debt, uh, within 90 days got to $2,000 a week, within six months got to $10,000 a week, and it, I had never done a blitz before. I had never put in 30 people in 30 days, and, you know, I finally just decided I'm going to stop trying to decide who's going to join and who's not going to join because I would only, and this was my whole, you know, procedure was this. I'll show them if I think they'll join. Yep. If I think they'll join and I'm pretty sure they'll join, then I'll show them. Yep. And I finally said, you know, I'm just going to make a list of 300 people just show them all. and I'm just going to show everyone. I don't care what they say, no emotional attachment. I'm just going to run hard with enthusiasm and excitement. And it just worked. We talked this year about how to recruit 20 people in 30 days. Yes, yeah, I was awesome. And it's the same yeah. thing, right? All it is is numbers. If you'll do the numbers, if you'll face your yeah. fear and go through the motions, yeah. if you'll just set the appointments and just tell the story, yeah. you don't even need to be that good. Mm-hmm. If you tell it in a compressed yeah. period of time, cool. you'll get pretty good yeah. within about 72 hours and telling the story, <laughs> and you're going to get results. Yeah. Now, um, some of his story, just for everybody watching, you're like, well, you got involved there, you got involved here. This last five years has been this big thing. You had a company, you know, sure. your your own situation blow up. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I own my own network marketing company. Yeah. And so uh, I, I just want you to kind of get some context. Yeah. You know, he had some success in the past. He had some failures in the past. He had some mm-hmm. success in the past, and then he started his own company. Yeah. And 
Well, it, yeah, and it, it was a roller coaster. So the first success, and then uh, unfortunately it was a startup company, went out of business. I did the same thing again, another yep. 90 day blitz, and rolled yep. about 30 people within, uh, you know, maybe 60 days or so. And, you know, had success, unfortunately, you know, and that's when I decided to start my own company. And, um, ended up getting hit with about half a million dollars worth of fraud in, uh, in about one month and six months later $750,000 in debt. Wow. 60 days away from bankruptcy. My wife had just given birth to our first little girl. Wow. And, um, and this is six years ago? This was, yeah, just, uh, it was June, sorry, September, October of 2008 mm -hmm. was when that, the fraud happened six months later and then it was June of 2008 nine when I got involved in my current opportunity. And you, so so been, you just uh, decided to put the work clothes back years. on? Did the same thing. Your back's it, up you know, against I gotta the wall, you, you gotta make something happen. I was, I had done the 90 day blitz, you know, three times and mm -hmm. it, it worked all three times. Huge success, more success. Every time I'd done it, it had more success than the time before. And so I just had it in my mind where, you know, every time I've gone down, I've, every time I've hit bottom, I've always rebounded higher We're than I was before. Yeah, yeah. Always rebounded higher. But all right, I got to do it again. Now, I will tell you this, going from being an owner of a network marketing company to now I'm a rep in the field um, was humbling. Um, greatest thing that ever happened to me. But I spent, ever. Yeah, I spent six months in a funk. I was going out and doing meetings. And I'd go home and cry. <laughs> but you're doing <laughs> it anyway. This you know. Right. But I went through the motions, and even though I, you know, mentally, I'm, you know, having all these challenges dealing with, you know, I mean, it was my company, and you know, it was my, you know, I, I'm the reason why, you know, everything happened, and you know, I had to get through that. It took me about six months. I got clear, and uh, look, look, luckily, can I, 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 can I so mention much. something? Sure. This is fun because. Uh, we have similar situations in in network marketing i think there's a mental ladder right you get in and then you make money you go up a, a, a rung sure and then once you make money you go to a medium sized rep and you make a living yeah and then you make good money a lot of money that's the next level mm -hmm. and then everybody has this idea i should be an owner sure because that's the next thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll be an owner. So you reach for that ring, and now you're an owner. And you go, oh, wow. Is this what I wanted? Yeah. And for me, I started a personal development yeah. company that was not a network marketing company. We were trying to put a mm -hmm. personal development on cable uh, television. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was the next big rung, and we raised $10 million. And that was like, oh, you know, we're going you know, to the big time, and you know, big you know, chunk of it mine, and we lost it all. Yeah. And then I was the same thing, and but uh, you know, so I kind of was humbled. But yeah. the interesting thing is, I think the best space. If you take all the different mm -hmm. places, owner, work for a company, distributor, whatever, the best thing ever yeah. is a top distributor if, in a in a good company, making a million dollars a year, whether you get out of bed or not. Yes, and enjoy, and the community, and the friendship, and the freedom, mm -hmm. and the lifestyle. That's where it's at. I, it. I promise you. You talk to. You know, off the record with a couple hundred company owners, <laughs> and they will tell you the top reps have it better than they do. They're they they just do. Um, so anyway, that sometimes the ladder that you think in your mind is not really it's the ladder up against the wrong wall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, it's interesting sure. to see that you kind of uh, went through that emotional, yeah. like, oh man, I've gone down a rung, but it wasn't. Sure. No, it was the best it thing that ever happened. Up because when, when I owned the company. You know, my wife would send me, you know, messages and videos of my daughter and yeah, you know, messages and I'm in the office. I'm like, I want to be home with her. And so the last five years, being able to be a stay-at-home dad and her a stay-at-home mom, I mean, the lifestyle is just, there's nothing in the world that beats, you know, being a top leader in network marketing. Yeah. All right. So I got to slide back to our, sure. your, your, your keys for success. One is sure. compressed energy. Yeah, compressed activity. A, a compressed activity in a short mm -hmm. period, as short a period yeah. of time as possible, as long as you can hold it. Mm -hmm. 90 days is, yeah. is what I think that you can really hold yeah. a, for a real run. Right. And uh, and some people get intimidated by how hard you have to work <laughs> in those 90 days to get to the million. Sure. But, you know, you can do a mini burst and get mm -hmm. to 100,000. Yep. Um, what well, makes you strong too? You do that much effort that fast, you get really good. Yeah. What happened to me? Yeah. I, I uh, my skill set. I was in network marketing for five six years. Never got to a full time income. I finally 
did you know blitz and I did more work in that 90 days than I'd probably done in the five years before but my skill set what I had learned in five years after 90 days of doing the blitz my skill was so much greater after those 90 days because yeah. I had I, I was getting the reps in yeah the practice what else was it was it has been a defining so um, the other thing was just the commitment to personal development I had a lot of growing to do as a person you know my I mean not going through my story growing up but there was a lot of drama and you know stuff like that we'll save that for another show but um, I had a lot of growing that I needed to do a lot of belief building that I had to work on myself and so I had to grow myself from the inside and my philosophy has always been that if you build people here they'll build the business but mm -hmm. if you don't build them here they won't build the business I agree. because there is a learning curve you can't you know you can't have it be just about the money most people it's going to take a while before they develop themselves to where they can make the money and so if it's all about the money and they don't make any money then they leave and mm -hmm. so you know we always say we're a personal development company disguised as a network marketing company mm -hmm. you know and so that has been mine is a huge commitment to personal development throughout the team Books, tapes, events. Which Books, is tapes, events. how would you, you know, what would you, how would you rank them personally? Uh, events are you need it all, but it, there's nothing replaces the power of events. I mean, mm -hmm. we're doing an event here this yep. weekend yep. with a bunch of people, yep. and um, you know, you get if you want to get someone to the point where they're ready to run through a brick wall to build the business that. It doesn't usually happen from an audio, it doesn't usually happen from a book, it happens at an event. Yep. And so it's the combination of the knowledge at the event, hearing all the stories, the motivation, the emotion, all of that building up where they come out and now they're ready to go. Yep. And so I've just done a as good of a job as I can at promoting events. Get people to build to the events and then they'll build the business. So we you talk, we you talked about um well, how did you phrase it? Con condensed. The, uh, the law activity? of compressed activity. Compressed activity, so, number one. Number two, radical focus mm -hmm. on personal development within the team. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I'll tell you, my journey was inside of network marketing. I was taught very, at the very beginning don't miss a company event, and I never did. Yeah. And you watch what happens to people who miss one, mm -hmm. it's a devastating thing to sure. see. But So I never missed. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, way back then, it was three a year, mm -hmm. four a year, yeah. plus your local yeah. stuff. Um, but for skills, so defining moments, all my breakthroughs happen at events. Sure. Every every life change happened yeah. at an event. But for skills, for me, it was audio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Audio because it was yeah. repetitive over and over and over and over. Mm -hmm. I'd just put it in my car and listen, listen, yeah. listen, listen. And also the just the personal development mindset. You know, listening mm -hmm. to Jim Rohn. Yeah a hundred times, yeah. you know, listening to whatever. Yeah. And then I became a reader, because mm -hmm. I wasn't much of a reader. I'd read 10 pages, fall asleep of anything. <laughs> um, but, I, you know, I've become a, a very aggressive reader mm -hmm. later in life, sure. you know, or really starting in my 20s, yeah. um, later in life. So, you know, t tell me just quickly, how do you, how do you bake personal development into your team? So, I mean, number one is just within the events, but then, you know, doing things like a book of the month. Uh, in fact, right before I came to this event, I've been getting text messages from a bunch of people. I, uh, I mailed out a bunch of books to a bunch of different people on my team. Um, you know, and then some of the people who are brand new, I'm sending them your book, actually. In fact, I'll show you the Perfect. text when very we're done nice, here. Very nice. But uh, I sent your book and one other to uh, about eight or ten people that I've just recently personally sponsored in the business. And so, you know, I made their night. I got your book. And, um, and, uh, and then with some of my other more, you know, seasoned leaders, I'm sending them copies yep. of other books that mm -hmm. are, you know, more advanced or more mm -hmm. personal development type stuff. So um, one way is just, you know, through giving books out, you yep. know, having them buy them when they get started. So day one, when I started working with my mentor, he immediately gave me a book list. He said, I want you to go, you know, read when James Allen as a man think it. That was when I was 24. Okay. And um, so the first success I had in network marketing, yep. started working with him. So you got a book. List. Yeah, got a book As a list. man thinketh, James Allen, yeah. great book to get. Yeah. What else? And um, so, um, Big Al tells all. Yep. My Big Al. Great. And then um, uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad. Yep. And uh, Twenty One Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. That was actually, I think, the fifth book in there. It was like get, get the skills and then the leadership. And then the other was um, Rich Dad. So Rich Dad Poor Dad. 
and um, uh, Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. Yep. So Think and Grow Rich. First, first few books. Yeah. Like, okay, read those. Yeah. Yeah. So and it just makes a huge difference. So you, so you just continue so to promote, 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 promote. brand new people when they get in, letting them know immediately this is this is important. this is part of our culture. Yeah, is, that's what we you do. Know, read this. So how about greatest salesman in the world? A great book. Yeah, Illusions. You know, Richard sure. Bach, you read that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or Jonathan Livingston Seagull. Or there's so my many. list there's is just so long. Many. It's yeah, so, so awesome. Many. And you know, it's like not overwhelming the new person with all yes, these books. Yes, yes. Just read, start with yeah, something. Yeah, Pick one. Read this, and then let's talk about it. Read this, and then let's talk about yeah. it. You know, one of my favorites that I've had people read so many times over the years is "What to Say When You Talk to Yourself" by mm -hmm. Chad Holmstetter. Awesome. And that's the basis of a lot of my training in network marketing. And you know, is people. Were, I mean, we're really coaches. You know, people come to us for so many different issues, and I take that book, and I can, you know, I've read that thing several times. I, you know, I read it like a, yep. a textbook. Yep. I mean, I write notes on it and everything, and so um, just gives us a format for taking people from where they are to where they want to be. It, but you've got to go through the material and commit it here. Yeah. And then I've also had so many people that have said, oh my gosh, you've changed my life in such an amazing way. And I never even told them anything other right. than you got to read this book, go read this book. Yeah. They read the book and then I get the credit. It's great. I, I think well, personal, <laughs> personal development comes from the environment we create at events, mm -hmm. the books that we read, the, the audio programs we listen to, the videos that we watch, and the relationships that we yeah. build. Sure. You know, if we surround ourselves with good people, yeah. we're going to get better. It's it just, you know, they're going to lift you up. Mm -hmm. and, and in network marketing, it's such an unfair advantage to everything else out there because in the rest of the world, outside of network marketing, nobody else really cares. Mm -hmm. and, and the people who are in your same business are kind of competing with you. You know, yeah. so they're, they're not looking to help. Your boss they're not looking to, to encourage. To level. Sure. They just want you to just do your job and don't get in their way in their right. career path. Sure. But here, I mean, we're, we're reaching up, we're reaching down and lifting people up mm -hmm. and we're pushing people up and yeah. we're doing, that's, it's, it's one of the great things, the relationships. Yeah. People, well, people just don't lead because they build great relationships and then they find themselves mm -hmm. in the journey. Yeah. You know, yeah. something clicks yeah. and the light goes on Yep. You know, their eyes light up and you go, okay, they got it. Mm -hmm. They got it. You know, now they're on their path. They're yeah. ready to go. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, we could talk for a long time and uh, we're, we're, you know, connected at the heart, uh, me and this guy. Uh, but you're going to be one of the speakers at GoPro Recruiting Mastery, November yes. 20th through the 23rd. Yes. In Las Vegas at the Mirage Hotel. We're going to have 8,000 people there. The who's who of the world is going to be there. You, tell people just what you're looking forward to with that event and, and why they should, if they haven't registered yet, mm -hmm. why they should uh, consider doing that. Well, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm excited to be a speaker at the event, but I'm probably more excited to learn because, you know, and going to the last uh, event that I went to with you, I mean, getting to hear from, number one, you, and all, I mean, the content that you deliver is so irrefutable. I mean, it, it is just the cornerstone of network marketing. It's what everyone, you know, it's what we're all teaching is mm -hmm. a lot, you know, the stuff that you're teaching. And so, you know, learning all the years, but then all of the other speakers, and um, I ended up getting the, uh, the CD set of, you know, the last event. And I mean, there's so many golden nuggets that I've gotten from that and uh, being there to network with all of the different leaders and, you know, you're seeing in the room and I don't know that there's another place. I don't think there's anywhere else in the world where you can be in one room with so many million dollar year earners. I mean, there, you're, there you're in there be, with dozens. Oh, no, they're, they're, last year there was a hundred. This mm -hmm. year there'd be t at least 200. Yep. At least. So the networking, just getting to you know meet all these other people, and for me sometimes it's you know meeting someone and, and I know they're making you know two hundred thousand dollars a month, and I hang out with them for a little bit, and I say you know they're just a regular guy like me. Right. One of the things I had to get over was the guys making a million dollars a year; they're not really that different. Right. So you know that, but then just the knowledge. I mean, I took pages and pages and pages of notes uh, just from the last event. So I'm, I'm excited about learning. From all the other speakers, and um, you know, it's another thing that I'm just I'm always in student mode, always right. in learning mode. So, um, so I'm excited about that. I'm excited about delivering what uh, I we're can't gonna wait. Deliver. It's uh, it's gonna be fun, and uh, get a lot of great content, of course. And I've got to you know you tell me what you want me to train on. No, I mean it's it's uh, well, we haven't talked about what he's gonna train on yet, 
But I will tell you, this guy is a master trainer because he's a great student. And, uh, you know, not only a, a good student, but a leader, mm -hmm. you know, because he turns around and, and takes that information that he's learned yeah. and Apply passes it, it on put it really, in, really, and really the, well. Yeah. Yeah, and there's been some messages that um, I've gotten from your events that I've been able to take and then train my team on, and yeah. I've made a good amount of money from taking that information yeah. and saying, hey guys, start using this, and right. it works. So, right. you know. Well, I'm excited to have you, and it's going to be amazing. Uh, we're we're going to be maxed out. We don't have that very many tickets mm -hmm. left. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be maxed out quickly, and... Uh, you know, we'll have to deal with that issue. Yeah. Uh, your, your event here this weekend maxed out. You, you ended up switching to another venue. Yeah. I don't have that uh, <laughs> capability yeah. of doing that. So uh, when w once we're sold out, we're really going to be sold out. But uh, if you if you find a way to get into that room, you're going to be glad that you did. It's going to be uh, an amazing celebration of our profession and a learning experience and a gathering of the the most powerful people on earth when it comes to the network marketing profession. So, well, thank you for taking the time. Absolutely. I Thanks appreciate for coming it over. very much. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And uh, from both of us to you, our wish for you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional. You decide to go pro because it is a stone cold fact that we have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have a great day. Get yourself to go pro recruiting mastery and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.